Hey there, and thanks for checking out our YouTube channel on The Making Of. Please be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, and give us a like below. Hello, and welcome to On The Making Of, a new feature series which focuses on a range of individuals from the creative and entertainment industries. I'm your host, Brendan Davies a writer and recording artist, originally from Owings Mills, Maryland, and currently living in Brooklyn, New York. My co-host, New York City-based photographer Brian T. Silak, and I have worked together since 2003. We envision this program as an exciting way to expand on some ideas that Brian and I have discussed over the years for various interviews that were outside the scope of our other journalism work. When we began to compile a list of ideal guests, Larry Crane was a top choice. As editor-in-chief of Tape Op magazine, musician, engineer, producer, archivist, educator, and owner of Jackpot Recording in Portland, Oregon, Larry exemplifies the qualities of a true creative visionary and entrepreneur of music and sound. After graduating from Chico State University in 1985 with a degree in filmmaking, Larry Crane played bass in the melodic indie rock band Vomit Launch from 1985 to 1992. Following a two-year break from the band, in 1994 he opened a Portland, Oregon home studio called Laundry Rules Recording. Mostly self-taught as an engineer and producer, Larry went on to open a larger, dedicated studio space called Jackpot Recording in 1997. Jackpot was originally a joint venture with a relatively unknown local singer-songwriter named Elliot Smith, who subsequently went on to be nominated for an Academy Award for his song Miss Misery in the film Goodwill Hunting, a song which Larry Crane engineered. Larry has engineered records for Versus, Stephen Malcolmus, Cat Power, Sleater Kinney, The Joggers, The Decemberists, Jenny Lewis, M. Ward, The Go-Betweens, Death Cab for Cutie, The Thermals, and of course, Elliot Smith. In addition, Built to Spill, Sonic Youth, R.E.M., She and Him, and Eddie Vedder have also recorded at his studio. Larry is the official archivist for the Elliot Smith estate, which, among other things, led to him compiling and mixing 2007's double CD release, New Moon. We sat down with Larry and discussed the history of his involvement in music and recording. We talked about his decades-long writing and editorial journey, from cassette-based fanzines to Tape Op magazine. We chatted about magazine and book publishing, as well as Larry's suggestions for conducting a rock music interview. Larry also shared his views on balancing a life and career between simultaneous demanding roles as engineer-producer and writer-editor, while reminiscing about some of his more vivid memories over the years from both the studio and the magazine. We covered a lot during this interview and learned from featured creator and guest Larry Crane about his personal history and career trajectory, his passion for the art of making records, and about his genuine love of music.